Hello and welcome back to the Euro 2016 show with me, Cameron Vaziri. For these past couple of days, I've been thinking about the referees going to be refereeing these games to the Euros. So I thought, uh, during this season, the Premier League and all the leagues, s- s- referees have made some poor decisions. So I thought I'd come here and give you my top five most worst referees going to the Euros and what give you some information of their decisions over the season and these are the top five referees I think that are going to make the worst decisions over the Euros this year so let's get into our number five ref- referee and we'll get to number one so from least worst to most worst. Here we go, top five. Firstly, we have a referee called Jonas Eriksson from Sweden. During this season, Jonas Eriksson has made a few decisions. His latest game that he made his um, bad decision, decisions in was the Europa League final a few days ago. Well, <laughs> Eriksson missed two handballs inside the severe penalty area. And he didn't even notice, so he didn't give the penalties. He disallowed a Liverpool goal that you all may, may have seen, which wasn't, which isn't so good, I don't think. Uh, then that that allowed Sevilla to score their third, which which wasn't so good. Disallowing a Liverpool goal, which looked onside. And in the first two minutes of that game, he gave three fouls away against Liverpool, which is absolutely poor refereeing. In two minutes, you should at least give give one. At one chance to Liverpool to get a goal, a goal back. But anyway, it happened, and it's over and done with. Let's get it over and done with, and let's get on to number four. Our number four is a guy from England who you all may know called Mar- Martin Atkinson. Over the se- um, Premier League season, Martin Atkinson has given a bit of controversial red cards at. Um, gave a controversial red card at Arsenal and Leicester. I think it was a red card, but some people may think it wasn't a red card. But I certainly think it was. Um, he gave a bit of 50-50 decisions um, throughout the season. And in that Arsenal and Leicester game, play advantage, but ruled it as a fair challenge, which was the incorrect an incorrect decision to give. So he had an okay season, but let's get on to our number three referee. I think our number three referee should be Martin Mark, I do apologize, Captain Murph, also from England, because during this season, um, his latest game, the FA Cup final, Crystal Palace and Manchester United. He twice, twice stopped play when playing played advantage. Twice. Which is absolutely and one of them went in and he should have given the goal. But no, it, w- it didn't stand. He faced fierce criticism by Players, fans, everyone, pundits. The, he had the biggest talking point at half time after he made controversial decisions. And he faced a lot of mass criticism on social media. And unluckily, he takes charge of the Champions League final this coming weekend so he has had a Mark Latimer has had a funny season but 
it's okay so here's my number three let's get on to our number two this guy is a guy from Serbia called Milorad Mazic I've got his name right and um, this Milorad Mazic from Serbia he's had a I haven't heard of him that well but this guy has had a okay season but in the World Cup, the World Cup, Brazil 2014, a website, they did a poll, and he was voted the worst referee at the World Cup. Out of 110,000, 87,362 picked him the worst referee. That is really awful. Milord Ma Mazic, if you're watching this, I think you're not a really good referee to be going to the Euros. But luckily you're my number two. And Carlos Cure said the uh, manager of Iran said he made s some shambolic decisions. Cristiano Ronaldo protested against his decisions at the World Cup. And he, he was... Much better at the Man U and Liverpool game in the Europa League, and he made less bad decisions. So, Milod Mazic is my number two referee. So, let's get on to my final referee, my worst referee who has had the most worst season of all time and who's going to the Euros and I don't think he should be with what he's done over this season is William Collum from Scotland William Collum well I've got a lot of lot to tell, tell you about this guy William Collum in February 2016 at the Inverness, Inverness and Aberdeen match he gave a head and I mean a hell of a lot of controversial decisions. So, he awarded penalties despite the player making absolutely no contact. I did see uh, um, some highlights of this game. He made absolutely no contact. If okay, this, this football it happened. Right. He disallowed a player's goal before reversing this is the decision he allowed it he disallowed it then he allowed it which was absolutely poor referee you either give it straight away or not give it straight away you don't go not don't give it and give it but it happened and he's given pen penalties against Abenin before and this is why he got suspended from refereeing two Premiership games from the Scottish League. He is a school teacher, a school teacher, being a referee, okay. <clears throat> and he is held accountable for several incorrect penalty decisions over the season of 2015-16. Yeah, and he has received an SFA red card, which isn't so good. That's why he got suspended for a few games. And the day after, oh sorry, the weekend before, I do apologise, he had to referee a championship game from the Scottish, the weekend before, as I said. So... This isn't so good, but okay, it happened, and he's going to the Euros, so it's perfectly fine with everyone. And let me just quickly go back on to Martin Atkinson, I just did find a few, a bit more information about him. Um, in the L League One, the Capital One Cup match, Man City and Everton, um, when the ball went out of play, 
Raheem Sterling put the ball out of play. He let the goal stand, which wasn't so good by Martin Atkinson. And Phil Jagielka did call Martin Atkinson as a very arrogant referee. So, there you have it guys, my top 5 worst referees. I'm going to repeat them one more time from 51st. My 5th from Sweden is Jonas Eriksson. 4th is Martin Atkinson from England. 3rd is Mark Klattenberg, also from England. 2nd is Milorad Mazic from Serbia. And first, William Cullum from Scotland. So the must-watch referee is William Cullum, and let's see how many decision, bad decisions he makes over the Euros, and also the, the rest. So guys, please comment in the comments below of your top five worst referees also going to the Euros. Please like and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with more Euro action and videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.